I will try to add a price range for product listing uh, like this uh, we have a minimum product price and maximum pro product price and we will implement a jQuery slider for this if I slide till 500 from zero dollar then our product will be come under zero to five hundred like this so for this let me introduce new plugin jquery plugin for this we will go to jquery ui user interface this is jquery official site we will pick from here slider and from this range slider we need this okay view source copy this okay uh, for this directly implement in Laravel rather than uh, I will explain you every statements of this plugin and how is working with Ajax uh, we will implement little bit Ajax to submit our form without refresh so for this uh, let me try inner my workplace for a testing purpose i will create a folder ajax yeah, slider slider yeah we will create here slider and we will do all types of experiment here after that we will implement in our Laravel project according to our listing and MySQL table price range everything but first of all we have to try something uh, our testing folder so for this let me slider okay and make a new file index php yes open with uh, sublime i will use sublime you can use any editor uh, like a notepad plus plus and on netbeans I like subline okay go to jamp ST docs because it's PHP programming so we need a server I'm choosing jamp this and we will copy the query code here okay <coughs> Okay, layout single here. Our implemented, we don't need this CSS, just add a HTTPS. Yes, let me run this file. Yeah, we have to grab these values in text boxes and pass into our other pages okay for now i am closing netwins for now okay uh, now now here we will customize according to our amount 
we need two text boxes not one and what we don't need any style read only nothing else okay we will make this text box is hidden after finishing our work uh, here our two text boxes one is our starting value uh, I mean mean price and max price okay max price I am not commenting just writing to understand you okay uh, see our name start price and price okay we will have to first display values in this text boxes and after that we will pass into our new page via ajax okay mm, for now let me see what happened it's nothing okay just keep open console to see everything okay here is amount display here okay mm. we have to manage we have to manage code according to our requirement like we need a we don't need this type of we just display our values in text boxes for now let me comment these values okay and here our all values okay mm, for this start copy and same as our name of text boxes okay We, we will not uh, showing dollar sign our in tax boxes just values okay mm, remove this and here will be one remove this extra okay move this to okay uh, our one text box id is amount start second amount end okay our one value will be uh, max value zero will be minimum value zero to zero to 500 okay uh, let me see it's working or not Let's see yeah you can see it's working now we have to make a new uh, new file to pass our data new uh, just name anything i will give name it post.php and here we will this quest we will display the quest and okay
just for space little bit space okay mm, here start price and price now we will make a new script to our button to pass data our post to php okay for this make a simple function name and think uh, send okay uh, for this first sorry we need two variables var start uh, start dollar sign here will be our first xbox value not while okay and second and name any name for and second text box value well now just for testing we will uh, alert any value So this, uh, let me check JavaScript on click on click function. Yeah, we will use this function on click. We have already function, so we will not go to inner close jQuery okay now I will paste here my function name is end click is 70 okay Seventeen. Okay. For now, if I uh, want to see our end value, I mean maximum value two three six six uh, two three sixty. Click. Yeah, you got it. Now we will do our Ajax start to pass our value to next page for this right dollar sign ajax okay mm. inner our send function okay ajax here method method will be get URL URL will be our PHP page name post.php and we will pass data data start our variable name for post.php and our value will be start this one okay mm. comma we will passing only one value we will add again and again before before send predefined function 
We will make a div with ID name. Show price. Show first. Okay. Same as our before send, make a new function complete. Complete. Okay, same show price. First, here height. Okay, and new function success. Success when our function runs successfully, then function HTML for display our HTML data dollar sign same as our DVD show price sorry show price dot show slow One more line for this HTML show show price dot HTML HTML okay. Now here we will make a div ID with show price. For HTML, we have to enter a new name for this. Okay, div. And for this, make a new function, make a new div with ID name, show div. Okay, let me test. Okay, 55 on 55 we have a error okay I think I forget plus sign okay now we will check here okay start price start start okay here start we have to make name this and and we will display it don't worry and for more parameters we will use and operation and plus sign and same as our first and okay and have value this and this is our text box 
text box value now refresh again I'm sure we got values okay and undefined variable and okay here is and and here is and so it's not a problem let me pass one by one move this yeah, we have 55 okay uh, it's, I think I have to switch this from HTML yeah you can see now we need end value 2 for our maximum okay maximum price let me try again copy plus sign this and wait and here our end here also end for this okay now we have to display this also and okay and we need default value for this mm, value 100 uh, I think 70 and value 150 this will be very good for our yeah now we have both values for understand start dot br and start uh, minimum price max price okay refresh again yeah you can see So guys, <clears throat> use console for seizure errors and you got it. We will use this codings. We will use this coding in our Laravel project. We will use same logic for pricing in our product listing dynamically view to controller routes everything i will cover but in next video for now goodbye and take care please feedback me in comment section okay thank you guys